to overpower people. What does this mean, overpower? It means to have more power than the other person. You know, in Western culture, lots of times young little boys will fight with each other and they will pretend like they know martial arts. And so they will hit each other and fight. And they like sometimes this feeling of being able to be bigger and stronger and able to overpower people. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we're going to ask a few questions. Here we go. Oh, no, not question time. How about the female view? Why do females study martial arts? Let me ask you, why do you think females study martial arts? Because lots of times, maybe you think of martial arts, you only think of men studying. But why do you think Western women might be interested in studying martial arts? Okay, Wu Liang says for safety. Yes, that's true, it is. For health, that's true. Um, protection of self, mm-hmm. That's a big part. I think for most Western women, they, they want to be able to protect themselves. You know, Taiwan is a very, very safe country. But in my home country, it is not like this. We have a lot of crime and a lot of problems. So even when we walk home, uh, it sometimes can be scary. So lots of females feel they need to study in order to protect themselves. Uh, right. <laughs> Ryan, this is good. He says you want to. He, they want to beat a man. Well, that's possibly true. <laughs> well, we will look here. It says that some Western women study martial arts because they want to feel the want the feeling of being safe. This is very important for them. Now, they feel that martial arts will help them protect themselves. On the other hand, lots of women are all about girl power. Since most Western women are considered women's libbers, the thought of overpowering a man is marvelous. There have even been famous movies about Western women learning martial arts. Here it uses a term that's interesting. A lot of Western women are women libbers. What does libbers mean? Well, liber comes from liberation. It comes from this word, and it means wanting equal, oh no, rights. So they want to be equal or considered equal as a man. And so in English we say women libbers, meaning they want to be equal with a man. They want equal pay, they want equal respect, um, for a long time in my home country, women could not vote. And so for years, women fought so they could have the freedom and have the liberation to be able to vote. And this took a long, long time. Mm, let me ask you, in Taiwan, in Taiwan, were women able to vote from the beginning. So when Taiwan's government started, were women able to vote then, or was it only men? Yes, they were able to vote from the beginning. Well, yes. Benjamin says now. Yes, I know now, but how about a hundred years ago? A hundred years before, were women able to vote? <laughs> ah, I love you students. You make me laugh. Of course not. I, I see that. Okay. <laughs> well, you see the problem then. A lot of women finally fought out. They 
fought for the hope of being able to vote, to be heard, and to have their own freedom. So just like Taiwan, I'm sure had the same type of liberation. Also, my home country, we had the same liberation too. And so in English, we call these people women libbers. Now, here it says, on one hand, some like to have girl power. Well, what's this mean, girl power? Well, it means to overpower a man, to be able to fight. And lots of Western culture is all about having girl power.